We have to get ahead of Katarina. Why does it seem like everyone's looking for Grace? Maybe you know something. Really, I don't, promise. Because if Katarina manages to get a hold of Grace first, she will kill her. We have to find a way to silence her, so she doesn't rob you of your identity. What do you know about Nato? Well, if you find out anything, let me know right away, okay? I will. Do it for the sake of Grace. I want you to find Grace for me. If you don't want anything bad to happen to your father. I don't know where Grace is. If it's all right, I want to have a look at your necklace. Sir? Do you remember anything? Nothing. Uh, I remember something different. If you hurt my father in any way... And you're going to tell Uncle Edward? Why is my life in danger? I really don't understand you. I'll explain everything to you later. Just leave this place right away. Margaret had a written confession which clearly states that it was I who had to kill. My brother and I haven't agreed on a lot of things in the past. But you should remember that he is still your uncle. I want to find out what other ammunition Helena C. has against me. Stephanie is the only remaining ally that we have at the Windsor. I have been meaning to ask him the reason why all of you hate him so much, including Helena. Is this authenticated? Yes. I'm doing everything I can, but it seems Counselor C has some strong evidence. That really is the handwriting of Margaret. We need to acquire the evidence by any means possible. Let's not do that, Mr. Wong. Doing that will only compromise our case. It's a confession of murder. And the name of the murderer. I'm not going to prison again. Someone will be able to help us. What can she do to help our case? This is just the beginning. Since there's no way we could steal the evidence... Of my last encounter. We can always destroy its credibility. Ever with Edward Wong. Counselors. The plaintiff has sufficient evidence to pursue the case. <sighs> Nato, I need your help. Sir, do you know where Grace might be? Your Honor, may I present Miss Natalia Pendragosa. Mm. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Nanto, I know that you are a good man. Sir, tell me where Grace is. Sir, please help me, and I'll help you too. Please, sir, you have to tell me where she is. Have you examined the two exhibits? Yes, Your Honor. And you can say that the handwriting on these documents are one and the same? Yes, Your Honor. Very well. But that is not the handwriting of Margaret Wong. What do you mean? We have all the files on record from the Wong Enterprise showing Margaret Wong's handwriting. And it's different from those on the evidence. What? Your Honor, may I present Agent Torres of the Bureau of Investigation. Your Honor, these are the documents that you will be referring to.
Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. This is the letter which the company requested me to authenticate. The strokes of the letter are consistent, and thus written by the same person. What about these documents? These were written by a different person. What? That is Margaret's handwriting! We were instructed to do a comparison of the handwriting which appears on the document you gave, and that which appears on the document from the company of Mr. Wong. We are not saying the letter is fake or authentic. Your Honor, those documents were authenticated by all the employees of Wong Enterprises to have Margaret's handwriting. <laughs> Your Honor, Exhibit B is also taken from the records of Wong Enterprises and is also confirmed by the auditor himself, Mr. Alfred Nung. Your Honor, Mr. Alfred Nung has resigned from the company for dubious reasons. And when did this happen? This matter will be presented only if this case will push through. Hey, just shut up and don't make a move. Hey, who are you? You just do what I tell you. Permission to leave, Your Honor. You're excused. Good job. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Counselor? How did that happen? Edward's lawyer had another letter with a different handwriting. That can't be true. I'm sure of Margaret's handwriting. Why, did my son do anything wrong? Hey, be quiet. Let's go! He didn't do anything all right, but my boss asked me to do something for him. But I didn't do anything! Just come with me. I it's said really that If your son doesn't do his job the right way, that means I have no choice but to kill you. But come I've on. got nothing to do with it! Hey! Well, it's okay. Because we shook them up somehow. But we still haven't proven anything. William, you really should have seen how nervous and scared he was. I think that now is the right time for me and Uncle Edward to meet again. No. You'll get a chance to meet him again soon. But not just now. Wherever it is you might be. I just hope that you're safe from any form of danger. There's so much you ought to know. I'm now paying for all the sins that I've committed in the past. Andrew has also been searching for you. Grace, you don't need to respond to this message. I know how angry and disappointed you are. My only hope is that you'd believe me. That I'm not the father of Elizabeth's child. I know that you still love him, until this very day. It's as strong as my love for you. Please take care of yourself always. The only thing I can guarantee you is that no one could ever force me to marry her. Because you are the only one I will ever love.
right. You got it. There. That's enough, sir. That's great. Uh, uh, all right now. I'm right behind you, sir. See what I told you, sir? That was really great, and knew that you could do it already. Grace, the only reason why I was able to do this is because of you. Oh, that's not it, sir. You really are recovering fast. You're such a good person, Grace. I'm truly grateful for all the help you've given me. Uh, I sincerely want to help you recover soon. Go ahead and tell Redentor. Yes, Tell him madam. to get the car ready. Right away. Elena! Perhaps you might uh, even blame me for certain deaths I'm clearly not responsible for. <laughs> Correct. Your guess is right. There's another one coming. I'll be waiting then. You won't be bored. There's a lot in store for you. The case didn't turn out so well. At least now I have more time for the children. Thank you. I'm a little worried about Auntie, though. Well, uh, don't worry about her. She's happy now. What do you mean by that? You'll find out soon. I have to go. Helena. Can't you see you're wasting your time and your money? Such a waste. Don't you remember at all what we talked about, Edward? About ghosts of the past? <laughs> Elena, I can only see the light from where I'm standing now. Why do you always insist on seeing ghosts and shadows in the dark? Go ahead. You can laugh all <laughs> you want, Edward. But remember, Justice shall certainly prevail. Helena, why is it that every time we see each other, you always make it seem as though you are a saint, and I'm the depraved sinner? If you are truly on the righteous path, then why don't the heavens grant all your requests? Why's that? Edward, justice will soon be served, and don't you ever forget that. <laughs> Sir? I have a question for you. And please be honest with me. I just want to hear it from you. Before all this happened to me, was I ever kind to you? You were, sir. But you know, in the beginning, I was a little scared of you. You were scared of me? I honestly thought that you were a mean person, sir. Even now, are you still scared of me? Uh, not anymore, sir. At the mansion, it was only you and Sir Charles who really showed kindness to me. favorite book. Thank you. So, let me ask you this. Are things still looking right for you now, Edward? You'll pay dearly for what you've done to me. You humiliated oh, me! Oh, will you just calm down before uttering your threats? Why not have a nice cup of hot tea? To calm your nerves! <laughs> Look at you trembling with fear like a puppy, and you even wet yourself. <laughs> Yo. Maybe you better wash this suit since you're a washerwoman. 
You stink! <laughs> We need to talk, Andrew. We have nothing to talk about, Mother. I've already made up my mind. Getting drunk like this will only ruin your life. You're the reason, Mother. You took Grace away from me. Andrew, you have no choice but to marry Elizabeth. <sighs> it's all Elizabeth for you, isn't it? You came all the way here with no intentions of hearing me out. You want your way all the time. Uncle Edward? I don't want to hear anything from you, Katerina, so just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I heard that William stopped by earlier to see you. Did he scare you? That bastard caught me by surprise. And I thought you said William was an idiot. It sure doesn't seem that way. Huh. If only I had my gun with me. That idiot could have been a dead duck. I don't know what's wrong with you, Uncle Edward. How many times must I tell you that I'm here if you need any help? Pieces of oh, that, that one? please. Grace? How are you, dear? Uh, I'm doing just fine here, Mother. Um, um, where are you? I managed to get a job at a new household. Is it far from the Wongs? Mother, the family here. They're good people. Just be careful, all right? <sighs> Mother? <sighs> Do you need any money? Oh dear, don't you worry about us. My siblings are taking good care of us here. I'm going to send you some money, okay, Mother? No, there's no need to. You should just save your money, all right? No, Mother, I still want to send you some money so that I can help you out somehow. Since I'll be sending you money, please let me know the exact address of your place. All right. Why are you doing this to me and my son? We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> really, Manuel? Didn't you get a chat with my staff? I simply ask your son to do a certain job for me. And you're his collateral. You're going to pay for everything you've done to us! <laughs> oh, Manuel. You probably don't get to talk to your son that much. You don't seem to know about the things that keep him busy. Do you see me as an evil person? Well, your son works for me. What you're saying isn't true! <laughs> what do you think I am, a cold-blooded killer? Why don't you ask your own son? That's ask not... him how many he's killed! That's not true at all, you're a liar! <laughs> My son is a good man! <laughs> Wake up, Manuel! When you're free from this hellhole, and you get to chat with your son, I suggest you try to get to know who he really is. You're a liar! <laughs> Nothing you said is true at all! <laughs> My son is a good man! <laughs> you're lying! I don't believe a word you're saying! I think it's about time we discuss things with our children. Auntie, would it be okay if you be the one to talk to Andrew? What is it, madam? You should see this. Why are you doing this? 
gets to me and my son. We didn't do anything wrong. Trying to get to know who he really You're is. You're a liar. That's not true at all. You're a liar. My son is a good man. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> How could you do that? Let my father go. Find her and give her to us. If you hurt him no, in any let way. Go. Not ah. Sir, she kidnapped my father. To compel him to find Grace, remember? Make sure you find Grace and give her to us. Only then will she let your father go. It's all very simple. Sir, please, sir. <laughs> I'm not marrying your daughter, Mr. Wall. Even if you're having a child? I'm definitely not that child's father. Are you telling me that my daughter is a bad seed? You don't know your own daughter. <laughs> Charles! Father, Charles! Charles! Please don't! I thought you were a decent man. Yes, I still am, Mr. Wall. That's the reason why you can't force me to marry your daughter. You're marrying my daughter! Charles, please stop! You are hurting my son. Go talk to him. I was raised well by my mother. And your daughter? Did you get to know her? I'm not here to disrespect you. I don't need to disrespect any of you here. I'm just telling you the truth. Andrew. <laughs> I want to apologize for how I treated your son earlier. You have a right to be angry. Elizabeth is your daughter. But I had no right to hurt Andrew like that. And I think he's right. There's a lot I don't know about Elizabeth. William, what you did was foolish. I just wanted to see for myself exactly how Uncle would react in the face of death. I wasn't aiming for him. I wanted to humiliate him. And what if his bodyguards caught up with you, huh? Please try to understand, my son. If there's something he wants, something worth fighting for, he will not give up or back down. Then I will try to talk to Elizabeth, since there's no changing Andrew's mind. No, I made a promise to your daughter. It's Andrew's responsibility. Thank you. I had a gun and a car. When they got to the scene, I was already gone. Please, don't you ever do that again, okay? This is just so frustrating. I was really expecting the evidence would push Uncle into a corner. <laughs> it was definitely so amusing to watch Edward trembling with so much fear. <laughs> he was so scared he peed in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Madam, I was wondering if I could talk to you. Father. Forgive me, please. Is that why you have so much money now, huh? I didn't think it would turn out this way. You saw for yourself how I raised you with my own hard-earned money. And not even once did I break the law so I could put food on your plate. And this is how you show your gratitude to me? Please, forgive me, Father, please. I'd rather die than see you do something treacherous, especially against Grace. Please forgive me. How could you do this to us? Please forgive me. Madam? I want to ask you if I could send some money to my mother. Well, yes, sure you can. I'll take care of it right away. Oh, madam, no. Uh, I have some money on hand. 
and I'll send it to my mother's address. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll handle it for you. But I insist, madam. I do have some money of my own. And, uh, I only wanted to ask for your permission. If I could go outside tomorrow and send the money myself, I hope you understand. Don't worry. You don't have to go. I'll have someone to take care of it for you. I don't mind doing it myself, or perhaps even Charles. Oh, there's no need for that. It's a little embarrassing, madam. Grace, you cannot go outside of this house. You're aware of the circumstances. I do hope you understand the reason why. Sir Charles, please help me find her. I beg of you, sir. I don't know exactly where she is, but I know for a fact that she's well taken care of. They're going to kill my father if I don't find out where Grace is. What? Sir, Madame Katharina kidnapped my father. And in exchange for his life, I have to find Grace and take her to them. Nato, we need to inform the police about this matter. But that won't stop them from killing my father. That's why I'm begging you right now, sir, to please make sure you hide her from them. What about your father? I don't know. You know what, Nato? Grace already mentioned this to me. She said Katarina and Uncle were planning to do her harm. For what reason? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Where are you? I'm out looking for Grace. Do you have a watch? You need to take Grace to this place by midnight. If you still want to see your father alive. But, but you can't do that, you hear me? It's impossible. Madam, I beg of you, please. <laughs> Nada, tell me, what should I give you? His ear? His hand? Or maybe his beating heart? You monster! Let him go! I still haven't changed my mind. Just listen to what I have to say to you, Andrew. Auntie is the only other person who knows about this. <laughs> Madam Helena! I just spoke with Sir Charles and he said that he met with Nato. It turns out that Nato's father was kidnapped by Madame Katerina and they're going to kill him if Nato doesn't take me to them. What? <laughs> they want yes. you? In exchange for the life of Nato's father? Yes, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Madame Helena, what am I going to do now? And it's Katarina who sent Nato to look for you? Nothing you say can make me change my mind, Mother. Uh. 
I, I am Deanna Wong. The first wife of Charles Wong. The reason I kept insisting that you should marry her is because Elizabeth is my true daughter. Yes, madam. <laughs> and it includes Sir Edward as well. I know this because not to warn me about it. That night when Andrew and I were supposed to elope, but I didn't want to believe him then. <laughs> and Edward Wong? Who else knows about this? I've already told Sir Charles. What is it that you possess? That a man like Edward Wong would want for his own? What if you're truly Diana? How did your name become Anastasia C? How'd you end up with grandmother? When Elizabeth went missing, she was only a baby then. Elizabeth! I became worthless to the Wong family. Missing. Diana, what happened to her? She was just here, Charles. They made me experience so much hardship. They even threatened to kill me. When Auntie found out how the Wong family was mistreating me, she decided to help me. She helped me create a new life for myself as Miss Anastasia C. That explains why you're so determined to fight the Wong family. Are you out to take revenge on them? It's not about vengeance, Andrew. We just want the Wong family to realize the kind of pain and suffering they made us go through. It's been 20 years, Mother. If you really are Elizabeth's mother, why don't you tell her right now? Andrew, there is nothing in the world I want more than to embrace my own daughter and to call her my own. You've been waiting too long. Twenty years is enough. You owe it to yourself to tell her. Sir Charles, is Nato doing okay? I made a promise to Auntie that I would tell her at the proper time. Now is not the time. There's too much risk involved. I'm hoping that you would understand that. This is the only possible way for me to make Elizabeth realize that I will always be here for her. That you're here too, to take good care of her and of your child as well. Andrew, please. Could you do this for me? Could I depend on you? Asking for is too difficult. Andrew, please, I'm trying to reason with you. Please marry Elizabeth. Please, it's not only for my daughter's sake, but also for the sake of the child you both will soon have.
I couldn't just leave Nato there. He's been under so much pressure from Katarina and Uncle. But what if Edward's men followed you all the way here? You don't have to worry. I made sure that no one was following us. How is your father doing, Nato? Manuel. I have to admit that Nato is in many ways like a turtle. What could be taking him so long? I'm getting bored. And while your son is moving at a slow and sluggish pace, your heart, on the other hand, is beating really fast. The rhythm of your heart is beating like a big bass drum. He's being held captive by Madame Katharina and Sir Edward. They warned me that if I fail to take you to them by midnight, they're going to kill my father. And so that's why I don't know what to do anymore. I decided to follow Sir, Sir Charles because I was hoping he'd know where I could find you. I'm wondering now what Katharina and Edward could possibly want to get from Grace. Better hope, Manuel. Your son finally arrives here with grace before the stroke of midnight. Because if he doesn't, it'd be just as though he himself grabbed a hold of this gun and pulled the trigger on you. Tell me, what did he ever do to deserve this kind of punishment? I don't know why. Just that Madame Katarina wants me to give grace to her tonight in exchange for father. But she didn't tell me the reason why why she needs to have grace. Maybe it's better if I just go there with Nato. I'm going to show up there tonight since I'm the one they want anyway, right? I'll never forgive myself if anything happens to your father. Grace, <sighs> I'm sure they're going to kill you. They're the kind of people who will not negotiate. We have to find out first what they plan to do with you. Manuel, Manuel. Not a punishment. This is more like a trial to determine how loyal and devoted he is to us. And if he does well in this evaluation of ours, you're a free man. My son would never turn his back on his loved ones, you understand? It doesn't matter if I die tonight. I would rather die than have a son who ends up being a monster like you! The reason why I came here was just to let all of you know what they've been planning. When they find out that I'm here right now, I'm sure they wouldn't even think twice about killing me. But I'm ready to face all of that, as long as nothing bad happens to Grace. I really feel sorry for your father. He was never supposed to be involved in this mess. I don't think my conscience could ever take it if something bad happened to him because of me. Nato! What an excellent performance. So you want to be a tragic hero? I may be a monster, but you, you're a pathetic little insect. I could very well crush you with my feet. Sir Charles, Madam Helena, I'm asking you now to please, please take care of Grace. I know you'll be able to protect her. I have my full trust in all of you. I assure you that I'm going to do everything that I possibly can. Whatever it is you're planning, I'm here to help you. Will you stop looking? That's why you never win. You keep cheating. Of course okay, not. Okay, come on. They're the ones cheating, well, and I'm always the here. you go. Here. Hurry up now. Hmm. All right, hurry. Father. Let's go. Keep an eye on them, okay. all right? And don't make me lose. I won't. What are you doing here? Father, can I talk to you for a bit? Why, is there a problem?
please marry Elizabeth. Please. It's not only for my daughter's sake, but also for the sake of the child you both will soon have. What you're asking for is too difficult. Grace is the one I love, and I will not leave her. I just couldn't. It's Andrew. He made it clear he really doesn't want to marry me. Did he talk to Charles? Maybe he'd be ashamed if it was I who faced him. Both our families had a discussion. Charles and his grandmother even talked to him, but then... He still doesn't want to marry me. He denies that he's the father of this child. That bastard won't own up. If kind words won't do the trick for him, I'm going to beat him up. Let's see if he father, doesn't marry no, you. Father, no, please don't. You know how much I love Andrew. And I don't want to see him hurt. All right, if he still won't do it, I'll go talk to him. But don't worry. I'm just going to teach him a lesson about responsibility. This is your fault. There's so many guys out there, and you go crazy for him. Now tell me, why do you want to prolong that woman's suffering? But what if she is the real heiress? Where are my good friends, my, my relatives? Have they forgotten about me? If you get to kill Grace, it won't matter anymore. Real heiress or not. I just have to do what was agreed upon. Forgive me. Sir, I couldn't do that to a good friend. <laughs> you might be looking up to Nato too much. What we should think about is how we can save Nato's father. It's almost 12 midnight. Get all of your people. Then we can go to the safe house. Hey! I really don't feel good about this. What if they get caught? One wrong move from the enemy will cost them their existence from this world. Oh. Charles! 